I'm delighted to introduce this film, highlighting the University's promotion of equality and diversity, and our commitment to providing extensive support for our staff and students. The University of Birmingham is a global community, based in one of the most culturally diverse cities in the UK. We recognise the diversity of our staff and student body as a source of strength and vitality that underpins the exchange of ideas, innovation and debate, which are at the heart of our academic mission. As a leading international university and as a destination of choice, we aim to attract and to retain the very best students and staff. Creating a welcoming and inclusive environment in which all members of our community can thrive and reach their full potential goes hand in hand with this ambition. The Advancing Equality in Employment initiative has been launched to build on the excellent work that's already been happening across the university in various areas of diversity, particularly the work that we've been doing in Athena Swan um, within the science areas, some of the work that's been happening around Black History Month and things around LGTB, of which Birmingham has a very good reputation. But we are looking now to sort of make a step change, to move on from there, to try and work through to get equality and diversity as one of those things that are sort of embedded across the university as a whole. How my role supports uh, equality and diversity is around the people development aspect. So, People specific, it's about enabling staff to access a range of learning and development opportunities. So whatever role they perform, whether you're in a support role or working as a senior academic, our role is to enable you to be the best that you can at your job through learning and development opportunities. We're also looking at some very specific initiatives, things around maternity cover. We're looking at guidance on families. I have two children and I have always worked part-time within the university uh, since I started and the university has facilitated this part-time working. I've gradually increased the sessions as my children have got older but I've always um, resisted um, the decision to go full-time so that's allowed me to balance my caring responsibilities at home, my clinical work and my academic work uh, and it's been very useful and has given me a, a very good uh, life-work balance. I've worked here now for almost 13 years and I also am a mum to a daughter who has uh, special needs. So trying to juggle the whole work and home life balance was really difficult because obviously she has many different medical appointments, um, educational appointments and there was quite a few times when I thought that I was going to have to actually give up work because trying to juggle the two was just proving too difficult. The way that the university supported me was by allowing me to have a flexible working agreement. So that meant that I could take time to attend all of these appointments without having the pressure of worrying about um, my working hours and things like that. So as long as it met the business need where I still got the job done, it didn't really matter where I was doing it or which hours I was spending in the office. So that took a lot of the pressure off. If it hadn't have been for that agreement with the university and the support that they gave me, there's no way that I would have been able to actually hold down a full-time job. I chair the Staff Disability Group. The group is really a self-help group made up of um, members of staff who are either disabled, have disabilities or are not, are sometimes building managers that need advice. We work with various areas across the university, such as estates management, to offer advice on building alterations and works on new builds, uh, to try and convert it from a, a disabled user's point of view as opposed to somebody who's just looking at it from a, an architectural uh, point of view. The Monroe Centre have been really helpful to me. Once I'd got a slip disc and arthritis, I found it quite difficult to balance and also uh, to hold on to things. I've made good use of the active leisure classes. I particularly like the Slater Sports Hall because that's got a lovely suspended floor. But I mainly use the gym and the swimming pool now. The swimming I do with the Alter Sports Club, which is a disabled swimming group, and they meet on a Sunday. We have an hour and a half in the pool, which is great. We're on our own, so we can go at whatever speeds we like. We can use whatever aids we like. 
and we can stop whenever we want and do our exercises wherever we want. I'm the Anglican chaplain uh, at the university. I work with a team of three other Christian chaplains who are full-time and a full-time Jewish chaplain along with part-time chaplains in the Muslim faith, the Hindu faith, a number of other Christian denominations and a Buddhist. We are here for all members of the university of any faith or none, staff and students. We support those of particular faiths through conversations about faith but particularly with worship, uh, for example Muslim prayers on campus on Fridays. We're also here for anybody who needs pastoral support, whether they're of a faith background or not. Sometimes those questions about life, universe, bereavement, relationship breakdown are things that you can't really see necessarily just as a counselling issue, but are bigger issues, and that's what we're here for. I think the great thing about working at the University of Birmingham is that my sexuality has never been an issue. And whether that's amongst colleagues in my own department or at a much more senior level, um, I guess there is, um, you know, part of that is because that there is legislation in place that does protect me as an LGBT member of staff. But I just think that the university as a whole is very in tune to, to diversity and, and, and welcomes people from all over the world, all creeds and colours and, and indeed all sexualities. I'm fortunate enough to be co-convener of the Staff LGBT Rainbow Network, which is a fantastic space for members of staff who identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual or trans. Um, and we get together uh, and organise a, a fantastic series of events and activities across the year uh, and also talk about issues that affect those communities. I look at issues around race and race equality I'm particularly interested in how minoritised, so that's black and minority ethnic communities, understand and respond to racism. So that's more broadly, but looking more specifically, I look at issues around education and education equality. So I look at things like academic performance, exclusions from schools, special educational needs. In terms of recent research around that area, I've looked at the black middle classes and education and I'm doing some research on black parents and education at the moment. My role um, is Equality and Diversity Advisor for Students. One of the projects I've been working on recently is looking at how best to support black and minority ethnic students' success um, in various schools. The University of Birmingham has supported my professional development through the Aurora programme. This is run by the Leadership for Higher Education Foundation and is dedicated to tackling the lack of women in senior positions within academia, particularly in management. The programme effectively involves getting together women from across the sector and assigning them mentors and working with partner institutions as well as home institutions to identify the problems in the sector, raise awareness as well as find solutions, both at an individual and institutional level. I'm the head of school in English, Drama and American and Canadian Studies. I hadn't been doing this job for very long, I've been doing it for about three or four months and it was interesting that when I got the job and it was announced I got quite a lot of emails from fairly early career women saying it's really great to see a woman now being head of school and it's kind of recognised the fact there aren't that many women in senior management positions in Birmingham and it's been really interesting I think because there aren't many women there women as well as men make assumptions about the kind of culture in senior management and I think I probably assumed it was a lot more macho and a more difficult place for to be a woman but I haven't found it that way at all I found it really really exciting and interesting and challenging to be part of the senior management team um, and it's something I would really encourage women to go for it's certainly not the case that I feel discriminated against or have experienced sexism I found it a very welcoming and um, dynamic environment to be in. I'm one of two women who sit on the university executive board here at Birmingham and um, actually that's been a very positive experience for me compared with where I've worked before I joined the university from private sector where I'd worked for many years and so I was used to working with boards that were very, very male dominated but also very, very task focused. What I like about the university is that I think you can really bring your whole self to work 
and I feel that I'm valued in the executive board for who I am, not for my gender or anything else. I think we're all valued as, we're all very different, we're all valued as individuals. Mm -hmm.